Welcome to all our I God Today followers, not only in this country, but around the world as well. Both readings today make for an enjoyable read, and both are built around the blessings of faith. We may laugh like Sarah, and she had reason to scoff, but if it is in the cards, we need only hang on and believe in what has been promised. And after all, all we have comes to us through faith and faith alone. Jesus and the centurion are interesting for several reasons. A centurion was the marine of the Roman army. He was disciplined, he was steadfast, he was well trained, and he acted on orders. But here we see him not only as a centurion, but a Gentile, and thus unclean as far as the Jews were concerned. And by the way, in all mentions of the centurions in the Gospels, they come off very, very well. For example, it is a centurion who recognizes Christ on the cross as the Son of God. Cornelius was the first Gentile convert. It is a centurion accompanied Paul to Rome, and so on. But Jesus seems to have been struck by this man's manifest compassion for a slave of all things. The man certainly went out of his comfort zone to seek help for someone who, in the parlance of the day, was no more than a tool and an object, and one certainly with no rights. You know, it, it may well be that this is what struck Jesus. Love covers a multitude of sins, and the man who cares for others was always near to Christ. So, despite their differences, one a Jew and the other a Gentile, Jesus not only expressed amazement at the man's faith and compassion, but indeed, he healed the wretched slave without even going to him. So today's message is the importance and the appreciation of faith. The passport to God's presence is not belonging to any tribe or culture. The passport is faith. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Indeed. Amen.